Hey, what's up guys? Uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, green screening on iMovie and uh, the techniques that I use to do some of my videos and stuff. And uh, one is uh, how to shrink something, two, how to make a, an object that move across the screen, and uh, three, how to record videos off of YouTube without uh, having to download some program or, or whatever. Okay, so uh, let's open up my iMovie here. Okay, so here I have uh, some stock footage of some clouds. This is perfect for like, you know, doing green screen of airplanes or or UFOs, which is perfect because that's what I have here. Okay, this is an image that I got off of Google Images when I did a search for uh, UFOs and a green screen. So what you want to do is grab your image, put it in the video. This is pretty simple, straightforward. Then if you play it, it looks like the UFO. As you can see, the green screen didn't take too well in this area here. You can see the clouds through the UFO. So what you want to do is just do a quick color correction and we make it a little darker. There we go. So do that in your video adjustments. There you go. Okay, so that's basic, that, that's a basic green screen. And now you have made an image that was previously still move across the screen. You can also do that on a picture. See, this is a picture of the sky. Okay, I'm going to grab our, the picture of our UFO, drag it into our picture, do green screen. There it is. Again, we have that slight discoloration where the green screen didn't take over here. So we'll go into your video adjustments real quick and just lower the green bar a little bit. I might change the picture, but you know you mess with the settings here you get different results. Okay, that's good for now. It looks like it's moving a little bit. But the way you make it move is using your Ken Burns effect. This will make it look like it's going across the screen. Okay, that should be good. It's going to be a little bigger, but look at the picture. There we go. Now you've made a picture in a picture move with the green screen. See? Okay, so that's pretty cool. Okay. Now let's go into shrinking something. Shrinking something requires a little more work because you're going to have to get a little creative. All right, I have the perfect image to do uh, shrinking. It's a picture of an airplane with a green screen cockpit. Okay, there we go. Here I have a trial run with my uh, poster board, not even a real green screen, but it does the part. I think it's, it's pretty good. The poster board, you can, it runs you about 35 cents at Walmart. Anybody can get it. Okay, so what you want to do is increase the time of this image here. Oops. Let's do it 12 seconds. Alright, so now we have more time. Okay. You're going you're gonna to grab the green screen that you want to put in here. You're going to do picture in picture. Because with picture in picture, you're able to shrink things. See? And now I'm putting myself in the cockpit. <laughs> okay. So when you play it, it looks like I'm in the cockpit. Alright? There you go. Of course, you have to do this uh, with picture in picture. You can tell that the image on the of the airplane is moving a little bit, so let's make that a little more stationary. Okay, that should be good enough. Green screen is off a little bit. Okay. Okay. 
So basically what you have there is a green screen on top of a green screen. Okay, so what you want to do is uh, export movie. Well, I always have it go directly to my desktop. Didn't take too long. Be there in a second. Okay. Uh, here it is. All right. So now you can delete this video because now you've combined them. Movies should be the only one there, the only one you've done. Desktop should come out here at the bottom. And here it is. Put it into your timeline. So there, now oh, you've shrunk yourself and you are in the cockpit of an airplane. And this airplane image, I also uh, got off of Google Images. Just did a, a search for airplane green screen, and that's what I got. So, okay, so now let's give ourselves a nice background here. Let's delete this because your backgrounds always go first. Say so you want a pizza background. I don't know. Of course, this could be a, a video also that, that works just as well. Increase the timing of this to 12 to match your footage, your green screen footage. Okay, you see, now you got pizza in your green screen, but I'm, a pop, I'm about to pop in in a second. Yay! Okay, so you see that slight distortion, right? It's because the green screen doesn't exactly match. So again, do you go to your color correction? Video. That's in the green screen a little bit. Should be okay. There you go. Now you've shrunk yourself, you have a pizza background, and you're in an airplane. <laughs> okay, so that's cool. Now for the fun part. Okay, so I have all this footage here that I've taken right off of YouTube. And how did I do that, you ask? On my iPhone. I basically held it up to the screen and recorded. You get some pretty damn good convincing footage. I'll show you an example here. I go back to my project library. And at the end of my exploder cam video, I left you a little preview. Okay, this is the my exploder cam video, and this is it. Check it out. That is a Halo frigate. I'm going to call it the UNSC Rio Grande. So that's what that is. And the way I got that is, like I said earlier, all I did was, was record with my iPhone directly off of the video screen. And it, it worked pretty well. So let me just show you exactly how I did that. Go into Sky Shots. Ironically, guys, I had shot this video, and I ended up catching some strange objects flying in the sky. If you want to go look at that video, uh, it's called "It's My UFOs." I, iPhone camera catches UFOs. Okay. Well, anyways, this is the video. Okay. Now let's go back to my green screen stuff. So, originally this is the video that I had gotten of the UNSC frigate and the flight path that I had wanted it to go on. Ok, 
Okay, but as you can see, it's it's a little on the greenish side. So what I ended up doing is catching the piece that I needed. right about there bring it down into your timeline and then what you want to do is do a slight modification to the to the video effect uh, I choose hard light and what that does makes the green screen darker and darkens the image that's on the green screen so with that done hit done let's delete this let's delete this Okay, so now what you're left with is that, the image of the, the frigate going across the sky. Okay, and remember this is all done using the iPhone recording directly off of YouTube. Of course, you will get some crazy ass distortions like, let me see if I can find a good example. I think I pretty much edit them all. Okay, here we go. See, if you play this one. You can tell up here that this is the part, the top part of my laptop, this black area up here. So what you do is you just crop it out. See, you bring this down and then all that other area won't come out at all. See? the videos with your phone right off the screen. I'll show you how good they come out. Okay, so um, this is the video. Okay, so what you want to do is export it to save to, to save the effect on there. So go to share, export movie, desktop, export. This should be quick. this now because my footage has been saved and it's right here in the corner okay so now let's go back to my sky shots and bring that image of the sky back into the picture here it is go to your timeline six seconds of footage so you determine where exactly it's going to come out green screen it and there it is it's pretty damn simple guys and this this works with any any uh video footage that you can get off of YouTube. I've done impacts, UFOs, so I mean it, it can be done as long as you have the right place to put it. It's all good. I guess I have a UNSC frigate flying around in here. I have video. Well, that's pretty much all I have guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment, subscribe, I'll always subscribe back. So, peace out.